Today, in 2019, Isila is a, a global leader with roughly 70,000 people everywhere in the world with only one unique objective, one unique mission, which is to improve life by improving sight. Poor vision is, as we speak, one of the biggest disability, one of the biggest handicap of the world, reaching 5 billion people everywhere in the world. And having a good vision is, for us, one of the fundamental human rights of every human being. This mission that we have, which is eradicate poor vision within one generation, and we have noticed that we are facing few challenges. The first one is really awareness. People do not always realize that they are having a poor vision. It's typically for the kids. The parents do not notice that their kids has myopia or a problem of vision because the, the brain compensates for the eye. And we are facing many situations where the first step is to make people aware that they could have a better life if they correct their own vision. The second key challenge is accessibility. In an ideal world, everyone should have a point of access where they could get eye exams, where they could get the purchase eyeglasses within, uh, let's say, 15 miles from where they live or from their work. And it is not the case. We empower people on the ground to find solutions to bring vision care to their own communities. How do we do this empowerment? Where we empower them, first of all, through knowledge. We give them skills to become refractionists, to become the first line primary vision care providers to bring good vision to the people in their communities. When we do that, we create a last mile connectivity to the people. We create a pipeline, we create a network which brings good vision to everyone in the world. And then you need to drive high-end innovation. Innovation in terms of products, in terms of technology, in terms of business models to actually reach them and to satisfy their needs. Finally, again, when you look at solving this problem of the world, we can't do it alone. We need to work with partners. Today, we work with over 700 partners, but that's not enough. We need to engage with all the governments of the world. We need to engage with anyone and everyone who's interested in vision care to actually collectively find a solution to this problem of 2.5 billion people. There was this young man uh, in India who was unemployed and who was actually termed as uh, not good for anything. And he came up, showed up at our training center, got himself trained and became in turn to become an Imitra. His life completely changed. So when I went back to his shop, his parents came and thanked me. They said that you've really brought about a change in my son's life and he's, he's doing something very useful for the society and we feel very proud of him. So when I look at the impact which this has brought about in an individual's life, that's something fantastic. So really, we believe in doing good is good for business and helps us to do more good. By 2050, half of the world population, which means about 5 billion people, are going to be myopic. Out of these 5 billion, 1 billion will be highly myopic and therefore at high risk of developing an ocular pathology associated to their myopia. It is our ambition that by this time, all myopes in every country of the world will have access to the best solutions to correct their myopia. Moreover, we aim for every child in the world to have access to myopia control solutions to slow down the progression of their myopia and therefore to reduce their risk of developing ocular pathologies. Among the causes of myopia, two main have been identified. The first one is genetics or heredity. For example, having two myopic parents tremendously increases the risk of having a myopic child compared to, to parents with perfect vision. And on the other hand, environmental factors have been identified such as excessive amounts of near work or the lack of outdoor activities which have been shown to prevent the onset of myopia. With over 30 years of experience in myopia research, we now know perfectly well the needs of myops in terms of visual comfort, aesthetics and protection. Pioneers in myopia control, we have 
for many years developed specific lenses to slow down the progression of myopia. But more than just controlling myopia, it is important to raise awareness around myopia and its consequences because still most parents are not aware that myopia can lead to visual impairment or blindness. If we don't do something, it's not 50% in 2050, but 100% in 2070 maybe. People with perfect eyesight are just the exception nowadays. Within vision correction, you have three steps. You have the correction of vision, you have the protection and the prevention. The step one, which is really to improve their vision, should be absolutely everywhere in the world at an affordable price for everyone. It's really to boost the feasibility, to boost the execution of our mission, eradicating poor vision from the world in one generation and making sure we are delivering solutions, product, sunglasses, lenses, specs, readers, at every price point, everywhere in the world, for everyone, so everyone really will be able to enjoy a better life because they will have a better vision.